And we are back with our entertainment critic, Ryan Jay, because we want to know about Venom. It sounds like a great Halloween movie, but you want to know, is it really all that good? Plus, we're going to find out about that and some others later. But first, got to talk about Conclave. Good to see you. Yes, right? we do. Good morning. Good morning. And Conclave is uh, getting a lot of awards buzz in every category, and it's a film about all the cardinals from the world getting together to elect the new pope after the current one has passed. Okay, so this is in theaters. Who are the stars in this? Well, it's Ray Fiennes, who's fantastic. You also have Stanley Tucci and John Lithgow and Isabella Rossellini, and uh, I could see any of them getting award nominations here. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Yeah. How's the design in this? It's, it's incredible. Pretty. The location is gorgeous. It's a lot of it is very backlit and moody. It's kind of cold, black, white, and red, as you can see in the colors there. But I loved the design. Okay, were you on the edge of your seat? What's the mood of this? It like, really what? becomes suspenseful about halfway through. It's a drama, and then it becomes kind of like a mystery thriller. And like the score has this like sparse staccato, like edgy vibe to it. And all the rituals that they do are, seem very severe, but it's fantastic. After seeing it, I understand why it's getting awards buzz. It is the kind of drama that you could see on the big screen, so see it. It looks a little okay. Handmaid's Tale-esque. Well, that's, that's, the just the color. that's just the color. Yeah, the colors, yeah, exactly. right? Yeah. Wow, interesting. Okay, the next one is Venom. The the Last Dance, and this is in theaters, PG-13. I have a complicated relationship with Venom. You know, I didn't love the first one. The second one won me over halfway through. And this is my favorite of the trilogy. This is Tom okay. Hardy ending his career very publicly as Venom. Um, the movies have done incredibly well. And so here we go. Interesting. So does it have like a fast start? It does. It starts with a prologue, which um, is kind of creepy and dark. And, you know, Venom's that character where it's like he looks like a horror character, but he's a villain from the Spider-Man comics, although Spider-Man doesn't make appearances in this trilogy. Uh, but he's an anti-hero hero in this. And I just love, I think I finally hit my stride in understanding the tone of this, like, funniness and creepiness between the dual character of who Tom Hardy plays as Eddie, and then he has this, you, get, you can see there, this alien um, that takes over him and becomes a superhero. Hero. Okay, who else is the cast? I feel like I don't recognize a lot of these. You've people. got Juno Tempo and Temple, ex, ex, rather, and Chiwetel Ejiofor. And I really love the action scenes. It's a fun mix of humor and action, great climax and end, very sentimental ending to this film as well. And for all that it's the end, they're, they just greenlit Spider Man 4. Oh. And with, with you know, Tom Holland, and there's the rumor that you know, Tom Hardy here might reprise the role in Spider-Man 4, which we'd finally, fans really finally want to see Spider-Man and Venom together. Yeah. Because Venom stems from the Spider-Man character. Is this comics. a movie that has the extra scenes? Yes, as all Marvel movies do, and there are two great ones. There's one mid credit scene and one at the very end. So see it. I, I really enjoyed this. Uh, for Venom fans, I think you're going to enjoy it as well. All right, and you've got a giveaway for us. Right, well, I want to tell you about this book, which is called How to Celebrate Your Fandom, and it <laughs> features over 50 ways to cultivate cultivate and celebrate any fandom that you're in. It's this wonderful guidebook, and it's really an ultimate guide to building community, sense of identity, confidence, um, fostering creativity and friendships from sci-fi to gaming to anything, whatever whatever you can imagine. It just is a great way to like kind of go, you could go day by day or week by week and really find a different activity to help you really celebrate what that's all about. That's kind of mm -hmm. cool. Um, and is there anything about Wicked, Wizard of Oz? In well, it? I'm in it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh so, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. So they, they interviewed over 30 people with different fandoms and like people you know that are involved in sports or gaming or crafting or anything else. And then they you know found somebody to reach out about uh, who is into the Wizard of Oz. Well, I'm in it. I have to let you know it, the, the um, authors are local. Oh, and this is that's a great cute. gifting opportunity, right? So it's um, it's Nick Seedler who is the uh, MSOE faculty member. He is actually the coordinator of special events and uh, Libby Shea, who is a former MSOE student, and they've got two co-authors, and they're great friends, and they do great work together, and they're fans of, you know, fandom as well. Cute. And so they got together and did this, is really fantastic. Has anyone in America ever been identified as a bigger fan of The Wizard of Oz and Wicked than you? Equal to not bigger. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That Fair. Is, no such thing we as vouch. bigger. Right, exactly. We vouch. Exactly. <laughs> but this would make a great, a great uh, gifting for the holidays for people, you know, for, for yeah. kids or people of all ages who really want to kind of get involved and, and build that. That. Cute. I love it. Mm -hmm. Thank All you. All right, Ryan. there's a book signing. Yes, the book signing is tomorrow, October 22nd, from 1 to 4 at Old Guard uh, Games. It's in Downer in Milwaukee. All of the uh, authors will be there for signing. Great. Meet and greets. They're gonna, everybody gets something as a giveaway. Cute. And I'm going to be giving away the book. Good. Right now. I love it. Signed. All right. Signed. So you can call in and get the book. All right. All right. So you can follow Ryan J on social media at Ryan J Reviews for his full archive of entertainment reviews to help you decide what to see, stream, or skip. It's RyanJReviews.com.